Today we will tell you about the mega tunnel project of Europe which will affect millions of people. So wait until the end of the video. In the corner of the Baltic Sea, a German holiday island is about to be transformed into one of the biggest infrastructure projects in the world. The island of Fehman lies just off the journey mainland and is separated from the southern coast of Denmark by a 20 km stretch of water known as the Fehmarn Belt. A tunnel between the two countries is being built to provide the missing link to a transcontinental highway that moves hundreds of thousands of people each year and generates billions of dollars in revenue. First, let's take a step back. The Trans-European Transport Network is a series of roads, railways, and shipping routes that connect every corner of the continent. One of the most important routes in this scan-met corridor, the central vertical axis of the network that spans 5000 kilometers from Malta in the Mediterranean to the Finnish ice tundra. Along the way, it cuts through alpine rocks and crosses frozen seas. But from there on the way north through Germany and there something strange happens. But you can't go directly to Sweden because you have to take a 150 km loop through Denmark and here it is called the Fehmarn Belt. So let's get this straight. This is a transport route that stretches from the coast of Africa to the Arctic Circle, complete with some of the most famous engineering structures in the world. The Brenner Base Tunnel, the Great Belt Bridge, but is a small stretch of water in northern Europe enough to create a bypass the size of the earth? It may not look like it, but Fehmarn's belt has thwarted some of the world's best engineers for over a century until now. The Orisand Bridge is one of those rare feasts of civil engineering. a mega structure whose architecture and engineering come together in perfect harmony to create a truly iconic piece of infrastructure immortalized in the 2011 drama this bridge connects denmark to the southern swedish city of malmo and it was when planning this crossing that sweden had a big idea right now you board a train in malmo to go from sweden to central europe With this you can go to Copenhagen over the Oresund crossing and then change trains there to go to Hamburg Germany. Even a high speed train takes around 5 and 1/2 hours and a freight train is significantly slower. That's a big matter considering that Germany is Sweden's second largest export market. The Swedish government saw a shortcut at the Fehmarn belt. So during negotiations with Denmark, a deal was struck. The Swedes would help build the Oresund bridge if Denmark agreed to build a fixed link in the Fehmarn belt. Fortunately, it wasn't as bad as you might think. There has been talk of creating a railway between Hamburg and Copenhagen since the 19th century. Quaintly dubbed the Vogel Flugnilie or bird flight line but nothing really happened until the 60s when a bridge was built to cross the short stretch of water between Fehmarn and mainland Germany known as Fehmarn Sound that route was the extended to a new ferry port at Puttgarden bringing trains right up to the water's edge surprisingly the trains were then loaded into ferries and transported across the Fehmarn belt to Denmark The whole thing was pretty slow. The diesel trains that served the route were not as fast as the trains we have today, and the ferry itself took over 45 minutes. There were many things at stake. The permanent crossing to take the place of the ferry, a four-lane roadway and two rail lines for both freight and high-speed transportation would be present. Denmark would finance the project. as well as manage the onshore operations and collect the toll fees for the passenger trains separately germany would upgrade the route from fehmarn to the mainland to accommodate new trains and traffic which would include building another short tunnel to cross the fehmarn strait 
it would be a once in a generation modernization of the transport network the hamburg copenhagen corridor would be transformed into a high speed road and rail route the swedish would gain shortcut to the continent a massive detour would be removed from the scanmet corridor and this would in turn transform the wider trans european transport network the only thing standing in the way was water the most obvious solution was bridge however if it was cancelled after careful consideration of the technical complexity of the construction so if you can't go over you have to go down and there is no problem with that because the fehmarn strips is the best place for a boring tunnel but the fehmarn belt is about 40 meters deep at its deepest point and any tunnel drilled would have to sit at least 10 meter below it this would make the tunnel incredible long for a train to enter pass under the ocean and successfully pass through to the other side again a shorter tunnel would create a train line that is incredibly steep and no train would likely to be able to handle it so both options failed but luckily they got another option and that is immersed tube or imt instead of drilling through the ground imts consist of precast concrete elements once made they are carried into a trench that is dug into the seabed and sunk and sealed together imt is a great solution for places like the fehmarn belt but as you might expect there is a catch imts are usually used for relatively short stretches such as rivers and harbors it all starts at a huge construction site in rodbyhaven on the danish side of the fehmarn belt operated by the danish state owned company fehmarn as it is so big that it took them 2 years to build the workspace the star of the show is the huge factory where the tunnel segments will be built it is one of the largest factories ever built in denmark This scale is needed for production lines that churn out 89 concrete tunnel elements, each 220 meters long, 12 meters high, and 40 meters wide. Once fully operational, these factories will operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for three and a half years. When work begins, aggregates and materials will be delivered to a purpose-built working dock and then taken on a conveyor belt to the factories. where the elements are cast each element is so large that it will consist of nine smaller segments each of which will take 36 hours to cast once the complete tunnel element is constructed it will be taken out of the factory and taken to a huge dry dock where it will then be washed out and taken out to sea where the tunnel trench will be dug massive ballast tanks are flooded to sink 73000 metric tons of concrete tunnel elements to the ocean floor where winches guide them to within 15 mm of their targets once all elements are in place the trench is backfilled and the tunnel is backfilled with gravel to protect it at which point nature takes over and finally fills the gravel bed with sand once the tunnel structure is in place there is little problem in laying the highway and railway through it The tunnel will also be equipped with ventilation, support and monitoring systems before it is expected to open for traffic in 2029. When this tunnel is completed, thousands of cars and hundreds of trains will pass through it every day. The expected economic benefits are huge, but it all still costs a lot of money. The project budget is currently 7.5 billion dollars. Denmark actually stands to gain quite a lot from this project. Cars are expected to be charged about the same as the ferry, about 100 dollars for a round trip, which is estimated to generate about 4 billion dollars in revenue over the tunnel's first 50 years. This is a tunnel that improves infrastructure and generates billions of dollars in profit. What could be the problem? The construction had to contend not only with the geography of the Fehmarn belt activists from Germany's action groups against the fixed connection of the Fehmarn belt have fought tooth and nail over the past decade to prevent any permanent crossings from being built 
One of the tunnel's key environment issues is water turbidity. According to Hendrik Kerlin, chairman of the AGFF, critics of the project claim that the soil dragged up during construction will have a significant impact on the ecology of the Fehmarn belt. The turbidity of the Fehmarn belt through the release of sediment will reduce the growth of macrophytes and plankton and impact all species around the world. Fehmarn AS says that sedimentation is one of the most closely monitored environmental impacts of the project. The company uses special dredging machines to minimize spills and has patrol boats and monitoring stations around the dredging site to collect data on water turbidity. This data is published in the real time on the Femarin AS website to improve construction transparency. But it's not just the marine environment that AGFF is interested in. The great feature of this new tunnel is that it will provide a new green connection to the continent, which connect Hamburg and Copenhagen and will reduce transportation distance between the two cities by 150 kilometers. The tunnel will use new rail transportation to move freight instead of trucks and new rail connections will make train travel more attractive. However, the construction of the tunnel has a large carbon footprint due mostly to the production of 2 million tons concrete by Femern AS calculations. According to the Femern AS, the tunnel, when finished, will significantly contribute to the trans-European green transport corridor by constructing a 160-kilometer bypass that will establish a workable alternative to air travel and more cargo from trucks to electrified freight trains. When there is a good case for a new mega project, project teams must listen to concerns and work to reduce the impact of their work on people's life and environment as much as possible. That's something this project has set out to do from the start. Most of the construction activity is being done on the less populated Danish side of the water. A new habitats are being built to compensate for the land now occupied by the factory. Over the next decade, a new route will be tattooed onto this part of the map. And for the people who use it, its convenience will erase any memory of the enormous effort that it took to make it happen. I hope you'll like this information. For more interesting videos, follow and subscribe now and make sure to share it. Stay connected and be updated.